Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of the Awesome Sunday Show. This is Connor here. Pat, once again. And uh, we have our very, very, very special guest. He is always welcome back, and he's just sitting right next to me. So please introduce yourself. Hey, it's Mike Sands. Mike Sands. Back. Back. Back yeah. in action. Yeah. You're kind of like, I don't know. You're just, you're just, I feel like you should just live in my frequent, basement. I'm that frequent cameo that everyone loves. You're kind of like a, um, the SNL host that just should be a part of the show, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. You're kind of like our John Goodman. <laughs> or Phil Coulson. That's still or, alive. Yeah, or Steve Martin. Steve Martin. Being compared to so many names right like, now. When there's like, when there's like, when there's like a documentary on us one day, because we got so famous, like. <laughs> exactly. They're like, yeah, it was like, yo, Mike was part of the crew. It's like, you know, like, that's pretty much how it's going to go down. And then he turned to drugs. Yeah. <laughs> dun, dun. Somebody always does. Yeah. So uh, going back. So we are a conversational podcast. We go up every Sunday. Uh, you know, please uh, just uh, like, share, subscribe, you know, tell people about us. Put and, us uh, on full blast. Yeah. Put us on full blast in your parents' kitchen. Shout it from the mountaintops. Yeah. <laughs> Set, uh, start, start the beacons. Put it in the ground. Let the mole people know we exist. Yeah. Um, so... On this topic, we uh, we have something in common. There's a show. Besides, we're gonna not talk about Flash. We're gonna talk about another show that we love, that's near and dear to my heart, or to our hearts. That you should all be watching. Yeah, you should and all if be you're watching. Not, you should actually stop listening to us just for a little while, and go binge watch the entire first two seasons, and then come back and listen. to Because every episode is great, and that show is Patrick, Rick and Morty. So good, and Perfect. yeah, it's like it's literally like it's so funny, and like. <laughs> it's the best original animated series that's come out in a long time. Definitely. It's just like nails it on everything. It's got perfect humor, timing, the way they throw in the music and the animation itself is funny. Yeah. And then like and they get good music really on there sometimes. They do. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fucking hysterical. Yeah. It was co created um, bad episode. by Dan Harmon, who created Community, and then uh Justin Roiland, who had a before it got taken down for being insensitive and he almost got sued for it a bill cosby superhero team or something like that uh I didn't hear that, that yeah that. didn't last long but because he made it for uh channel 101 dan Harmon's like film festival mm. yeah it didn't last too long but rick and morty came out of it so it's all good and this show is fucking fantastic it's on break right now yeah so you have plenty of time to watch it there's only 24 episodes right 24 half hour episodes. Right. Yeah, 24. No, no, no. no. <clears throat> because there's only 10 ep- 10 or 11 episodes, I think, of season two. I think it's like 22 episodes. All right. 22, 23, 24 episodes. Yes. Yeah, so Whatever. Not a lot. Bingeable. Yes. Definitely. Easily bingeable. Definitely bingeable. Look it up because it's fucking hysterical. So, in this episode, we're going to be talking about our predictions for the first episode of season three. Yep. Before we start predictions, though, let's just do a little recap of the show and what happened in season two finale, okay. just so we can kind of segue into what we think, just in case for people who have seen it but kind of forget. Yeah, this is, um, needless to say, very spoiler heavy. Yeah. Even though... Maybe two seasons in, we're talking about Yeah, it, even so. though you can still... It won't ruin anything because you'll still love the show. Most yeah. of, most of the episodes are not chronological, so yeah. it doesn't really matter. It's really only a spoiler for that last episode. <laughs> yeah, like, pretty much. There's a little bit of chrono- like it, there is a bit of a like a timeline. <clears throat> they 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 connect. They the tap episode. at the, that story here and there, but yeah. it's mostly just individual episodes. Like you don't have to watch the series from front to back. Like if you had you a should, shuffle you button, you could go ahead and hit the shuffle button, yeah. and it would yeah, all basically. make sense. Some You'd of the characters. All right, so Rick and Morty, it's about um, a scientist grandfather and his grandson. A drunk. A drunk. Uh, or sorry, so, like, it's this family, a, a drunk scientist, grandpa scientist, comes back into his daughter's life after years of not being there and uh, just moves in rent free. And him and his grandson go on, like, wild adventures across the galaxy. Wacky sci fi. What, and through what, time, what did Jerry call it? Sci fi rigmarole. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, like, they go on crazy adventures, and, like, a lot of them are, and all of them are just hysterical. Um, but it got to the point where, you know, throughout the series, where, like, Rick was, like, being a major burden on the family to the point where the family in the season finale of episode two <laughs> had to leave Earth and find a new Earth like planet to live on. And, uh, 
which and it's like and like through like a lot of like things that I don't really want to spoil because I want you to see the show. Rick's in prison, and uh, Galactic Prison. Galactic Prison. He's he's like he he's wanted on like a major level for the, probably yeah. the Galactic Federation within the show. I don't want to tell you why because you should watch the show. But at the end of the season two, he's in jail and the family's back on Earth. Realistically speaking, you could probably go watch the season finale of season two, and it wouldn't like ruin any other part yeah, of the show for you. It wouldn't. It would yeah, just really, explain the segue this. into season three. That's all it exactly. really does. Yeah. Like this isn't one of those shows that like you have to worry about spoilers during the entire season because of how there's very few episodes that have any reference to the ones before it. Like very seldomly, like season one, there's a there's some stuff like that yeah. kind of connects. But well, you can the, enjoy the things it. Things that regardless. connect though are usually just kind of like either recurring jokes or some recurring characters. Yeah, like um, like Bird Person. If you didn't watch season one, you wouldn't know who Bird Person was, who becomes very relevant in the season, season two, two finale. But also but, too the episode where um, what you call it, where they 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 with the, with the virtual like, with the uh, interdimensional cable box when God, I love that episode when Summer is like I don't matter, I'm leaving, and then. Morty shows like the graves of like the Rick and Morty from that timeline, and he goes, yeah. "She's like, we're, he's like, we're from a different timeline. Like, we just planted ourselves here yeah, because right. they happen to die right where we yeah, came in. and there's and there's no other difference. So like, there is little things, and like there was an episode that happened. No one, no one exists on purpose. No one belongs anywhere. Come yeah. watch TV. Yeah, <laughs> it was so good. Quotes. So all right, so we kind of so like. So basically, season two ends off on Rick is in prison. The family isn't really aware that he's in prison. Um, Morty they understand what happened, but they don't know where really, really. Is. Well, because the intergalactic police well, come to the went... planet they were hiding on. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And then because Rick went out for ice cream. <laughs> yeah, ice <laughs> cream. But yeah, the re- what so led to Rick that turns himself in for the good of his family, which is. Completely unheard of yes, by Rick is, because he doesn't give a fuck about anything except, except for his alcohol. He, he really, does, well, that's the thing. And though, science. Deep down, he he does care. Like even Bird Person says it. He goes, "Then you really don't, truly don't know." And like deep down, he's a good guy. He's just a, he's just not a. He's just fucked up. Yeah, yeah, he's just messed up. Like he's we he's too smart for his own good. Numerous atrocities in the name of freedom. Yeah. Yeah, basically, he broke every sort of intergalactic crime there is or law. He. he but it's good. Uh, all right, so Rick, under, people who haven't seen the show understand. Uh, people who have watched the show and needed a recap get probably remember what happened. So I want, <coughs> I will go. I'll, I'll Pat can go first. I'll have, like Matt can go second. I'll go. I'll go third. Pat, what do you think? Season three uh, premiere prediction. What do? You, how do you think? Did you follow Rick and Morty on Instagram? Yes, and I saw the the post that you mentioned um yeah it's free like, rick free rick yeah and they're the all families like suited up for war right how like so we have a hint of what's happening what do you think is how it's going to happen like what's going to ha- like what's going to happen how are they going to free him like what do you think is going to happen in season three um well if they indeed go by the picture that they drew like the free rick it could have been just like just like a poster for people to check out um but if they do they can you know rick's got a shit ton of weapons in his garage and the secret basement under the garage grab that morty knows how to fly spaceship poorly yeah. but so they can go they could see if maybe they could find some sort of ally of rick not friend because we know he doesn't have those but ally or or maybe one of the other ricks from different timelines will come help him out but Squanch. Squanchy. Isn't he dead? No. Bird person. Oh, I thought they both died. Squ- R.I.P. Bird person. Well, I, I think it was up in the air with Squanchy because yeah, they just kind of like left him there. Yeah. He, he drank the serum yeah. and turned into that giant monster. <laughs> Get rid of Squanch. Turn <laughs> more Squanch. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. You know who's going to help him out, though? Mr. Poopy Butthole is going to f- forgive Beth for shooting him <laughs> to save Rick. You, that's what you think is going to happen? No, but... I would like for that to happen. Oh, we. <laughs> yeah. That'd be so funny. Uh, <laughs> like comes in at the last second to save yeah. him. Like he's gonna become the hero, and or honestly, I could just see Rick just breaking out of prison, but like easily by himself. By himself. <laughs> like even though he's like chained up, like 
to this because there are there are other episodes where he seems in like a not manageable situation and he just like yawns or sighs yeah and he just kind of like completely handles it in one yeah. quick breath and then he does just, like, have um some macgyver yeah qualities to him just like, so i could i could see him breaking himself out and then going on like a I, one man war I personally, while freeing each prisoner there to help him out yeah i could see like the the family is getting super ready to go help him but meanwhile rick is like breaking out on his yeah. own and the family gets super hyped and they get like to the front door and meet him at the front door or whatever or wherever they're gonna yeah. try and infiltrate and rick's just like oh what took you guys so long yeah. <laughs> i could see something like that yeah. happening basically rick is gonna turn that prison into his bitch okay. uh, i'm predicting that okay but um i also i also can't wait this isn't really like this is just uh, something that I feel like they're going to do because it's a good opportunity comedy-wise. I can't wait for... Because Summer and Morty have been on adventures with Rick a lot yeah. so far. So they sort of... They obviously don't understand the science of like what they're using. But a lot of the stuff they've used before. So they're going to be like a little more used to Rick's yeah. technology. But... They're, I want them to play on the whole parental, like, not understanding technology yeah. thing. While especially they're trying Jerry. to suit up. Yeah, especially Jerry. Um, the father who is, like, frequently destroyed <laughs> in the show inept. for... Yeah, completely <laughs> inept. Uh, so funny. <clears throat> but um, I want them, like, while they're suiting up, Beth and Jerry to just be like, well, what does this button do? And they start, like, blowing mm -hmm. things up and Be uh, Beth and Summer are just... Or, in summer summer and morty are just like guys just stop just stop touching everything they start freaking out on them that's going to be a great scene when they start suiting up and yeah the parents are going to have to try and like use the technology i think they're going to go for that i see that happening i would love to see that i think that any time jerry fucks up or causes like a serious incident it's just great yeah and it's usually like he's not doing anything that huge it's just like it just he's like just so no dumb walls. yeah yeah <laughs> like when he didn't want to donate his penis to save that galactic, uh, yeah. basically Your human Gandhi. Penis is like <laughs> <the same. laughs> and then he finds out the guy's on heroin, and he's like, "Oh, you can, you can take my dick. It's fine. It's fine. I'll do it." So no, take my <laughs> penis. <laughs> and Beth sees like the prosthetic. She's like, "Whoa, Jerry." Like, uh, <laughs> Ooh, like, I which like one this. do you like better between the uh, uh, this model and this model? <laughs> <laughs> Like, come another my penis we're talking about <laughs> yeah i'm sure that uh jerry's not like the king of the bedroom that beth would definitely want <laughs> a <laughs> replacement <laughs> yeah. well now beth if uh if you'll have me i would like to have you and she <laughs> punches him on the shoulder and goes okay <laughs> <laughs> all right connor what are you what are your predictions you seem to have a uh, a big plan for this so all right let loose. this is what i think is going to happen i think it's going to be like a huge like suit up like you know, uh, you know, like almost like a montage, you know, uh, -huh. uh, like play the song from Scarface, like typical thing, but like, it's going to be like funny, like Rick and Morty style. I think they're going to have an army of Mr. Meeseeks. I was going to uh, say yeah. a good one. Yeah. I think, and I think cause remember when like, I remember, cause remember when Jerry asked the Mr. Meeseeks, like something simple, like, you know, like yeah. I want my golf game to go up two strokes and like, but like Beth and Summer asked like for like things that aren't simple and but yet like they, they, they get through it okay it easy. it's just because jerry's so fuck fucking stupid <laughs> jerry's terrible and all it is is like you have to help us free rick and like ooh, can do and they're gonna have an <laughs> you army know, of mr meeseeks that makes sense do they still have the box yeah they never got There's rid no of reason not to yeah I don't, all right well yeah i could see that it'll happen because they'll I, just keep needing more to save rick yeah i feel like um adding to that with the meeseeks i think they're gonna with them within the montage i think they're gonna go out of their way to start like Finding like Squanchy and all of Rick's friends, yeah. like the guys, from, all the people from the house party and stuff like that, that haven't already died yeah. or <laughs> been uh, otherwise eliminated from the storyline. Mm -hmm. And they're going to start collecting people who want to free Rick, and it's going to turn into like a big all out war, and it's going to be great. Yeah. Like a war in the stars, you know? I think they could call it something like that. Yeah. yeah. There's something they could work with, right? They start playing like like the dual fates like music, yeah. for, like episode one, like. Dun, 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 like. <laughs> but personally, I think their best 
like music to what they were doing was when they played X gonna give it to you. Dude, when? I yes. was just when? yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say that like when they're, uh, when they're working, they out. just keep like relooping it every time they start fighting another person. <laughs> X gonna give it to you. <laughs> they get such good music yeah, on that show. I really like the Bye Bye Moon Man one from yeah. Fart. Yeah. <laughs> bye, bye, I like this name. Moon, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's gonna be an army of Mr. Me Seeks. I'm Crumbobulous Michael. I'll kill anyone. I have no code of ethics. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to see a fucking army of Mr. Me Seeks. Yeah, I think that'd be fantastic. Yeah, but who, sick. Connor? Who do you want? I know there's one character that you want so bad. Who do you want to lead the Mr. Me Seeks? Who do you want to not be dead to lead? Oh, the Mr. bird person. I don't think Bird Person's dead either. I think because in remember in the episode where uh, with the intergalactic uh, like Martin Luther King, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name, but I know exactly who you're talking about. Yeah, uh, the one that needed Jerry's penis. Yeah, and yeah, like remember when like Jerry gets shot in the head like three times, and the rest of the body like twenty. And they're like, this, oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's, I forgot about and they're that. like, and they're like, oh yeah, like well, this is a space prison or this is a space hospital, so it's like no big deal. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like, like it's like we were like, on Earth, you'd be dead. Yeah, you had, it's like the equivalent to like a splinter. <laughs> like it's like they can do anything. So I think Bird Person's alive. See, the problem with that might be Bird Person is an intergalactic criminal guilty of many war crimes, just like Rick. He was like his accomplice. But Did yes, you? but at the same time, like. Rick did escape, so they might have revived him for information. Eh, it could be. I don't know. I I mean, I would love Bird Person to be back, <laughs> yeah, I, regardless, I just, because yeah, yeah. I love Bird when Person. When he died, I was so pissed. I was like, "What? Like, Bird? Hey, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's so monotone." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would love I for Bird Person to come needed. back because I I love Bird Person. Tammy, before I met you, I was approaching infidelity, but there's still time. <laughs> Infertility. Infertility. I meant. Yeah, shouldn't be telling you this, but I've become quite inebriated. <laughs> yeah, Tammy, I must let you know that I just got out of a very serious soul bond with my previous spirit mate. <laughs> Bird person is like so good. You know, a TV show is great when like you can have a favorite character that's not a main character. Yeah, yeah. That, that is literally in like three episodes. The <laughs> yeah, entire just series. about. Yeah, yeah he's. I would love for him to be back. Yeah. It's kind of like I want – like it's kind of like when I would hope for Family Guy to bring back greased up deaf guy. Mm. Yeah. Like I just feel like he's gone and he'll never come back. I just love him. Like, <laughs> you're never going to catch me. Like, <laughs> you're wasting your time. Forget about it. <laughs> uh, oh, you jumped the nail. Third person, yeah. He's just – it's just such a great – like the name is so stupid. That's what yeah. works so well. He's just such a good character. Yeah, like, yeah. he's so fucking funny. Uh, I mean, all of Rick's friends are. Yeah. But that house party episode was like one of my favorite oh. episodes. <laughs> was it uh, Adolf Ham Linkler? Yeah, it's Abrid- uh, Abridolf Linkler. Yeah, Abridolf Abridolf Linkler. <laughs> maybe. Oh no, he's dead. But maybe he'll come back. But the the same Had logic that applies from your no, own inferior genes. He's, he's not dead, right? Linkler. Linkler? Yeah. Please. Well, he was being tossed around by yeah. those vagina monsters. They thought he was dead. Pro- maybe no, they're applying him, like him and the him and the party boy were yeah. being thrown around. Like, are you actually like, enjoying are you this? Enjoying yeah. this? Yeah, you know it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, they could be following like the comic book logic of they're not dead unless you see a body dead there, and even then, like they can come back. Yeah, because yeah. like I I still I think Bird Person's alive. I really do. I want him to be alive. Because yeah. I'm gonna miss him. I he's don't think he's alive, but if he comes back, I would be very happy. Yeah. That's that's personally me. I I think that <laughs> they used him as a catalyst to get like this storyline going, and mm-hmm. that's just how it's gonna be. But I want him to be alive because I love him, and he's so funny. Everything he says is not funny, and if anyone else were saying it, it wouldn't be funny. <laughs> but just because of the, the way, way he says yeah, it, yeah, it's the way he says it is so. <laughs> he's just classic. completely monotone and completely serious about everything. <laughs> And it was great too. It was like every character is good. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of animated series, there's like like in Family Guy, like <coughs> Meg is the weakest character, and that's why they pick on her. Yeah, 
And like, and Chris is, and Chris, besides that, Chris is the second weakest in that Chris show. Is like almost non-existent. Yeah, and like when he, and <laughs> both like, of them are really. He's yeah. essentially like a second. He's he's essentially like a second Peter when you can't do the joke for Peter. Yeah. When it like when it comes to Chris and it's like, like, well, this what this is more geared toward a teenage version of Peter, and good thing we have one. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it. And I love um and like as much as I love the Simpsons, like I still respect the Simpsons, even though I feel like it should be done. Uh, like Marge is not funny on that show. Like, and like, not saying she doesn't have funny moments, but like, there's weak characters in a lot of those shows. Like Rick just and like, Morty, yeah. there's just no like a non-entity. yeah, there's no weak characters. Like every character, is everyone like, does something funny at yeah, some point. <laughs> even yeah. Summer, like, has her moments. Like, and even if it's not Summer being funny, she's in a situation that's funny. Yeah, like. The like whole the, the car, the car, like keep, keep summer, summer safe. safe. Yeah, it was <laughs> that so... or um, the 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 lamb fairy or whatever was it? <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the Mr., one that's the parasite. Uh, Mister, oh, what was it? Oh, fuck, was it? But yeah, it's basically like a lamb dressed up like yeah. a fairy. Yeah, and she like and like like it's like she's in like in that la- hardcore rap song. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like she's in that fairy land and like there she's like just keeps dancing like. Yeah. <laughs> oh. People Sleepy will just Gary. need to watch the show. Yeah. Sleepy Gary. <laughs> We're trying to sleep here. <laughs> you know, I heard they're filming the new Star Wars movie down the lake. You want to go see it? Sure. Maybe we'll see Chewbacca. <laughs> and just start making out. Yeah, and, and Jerry goes like... Really what, hard. <laughs> what are we... He's like, oh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh. <laughs> like, that's what. that's the best part about Jerry is like... <laughs> He just gets shafted so bad, and like yeah. he's and he's such and he's so mediocre and so like he does he's so spineless that they they can make him believe he's gay when he's not. Yeah, like <laughs> it's just so funny. He goes with the flow so hard. Uh, what was it? Uh, the one part where Rick was like. Man, your father is the rum king grumble of the uh, of uh, pretending to know what's going oh, on. Yeah. And they both laugh and they're like, "Oh yeah, you like that? You like that rum king grumble <laughs> a reference?" And they both and they're like, "Yeah, that was good." And he's like, "Yeah, I made him up. You're your father's children." <laughs> <laughs> no, that show is just great. Yeah, it's it's perfect. And and like they and they're it's kind of self aware too in a way where uh the the second uh version of like the intergalactic uh or the interdimensional cable box yeah where it's like uh it was like well, she's like what are you doing out uh, of the sequel well, i don't get what you're saying it worked yeah, the first yeah, time it was so funny he just starts hooking it up to the to the hospital room and then they're just like sir what are you doing he's like ah oh, we're doing a sequel don't worry about it yeah <laughs> oh. every episode is great though you little bits people need to watch it Hey, you, I, uh, you you can't have my eye holes. <laughs> you gotta be careful. Mike. I'm Ants my eyes Johnson, and this is Ants my eyes Johnson Furniture Store. Okay, I, got, I I got all this stuff, but I can't see it. I got Ants my eyes, you know, and I can't see it. Like this toaster has a sign above it that says right. It was like ninety nine dollars. That's fair, right? Is it? I I think, I, so. I think it is. I think it is. We have a lot of sales. All the prices are good. I hope. <laughs> I hope. I can't see them. <laughs> And another thing to mention about the the two cable episodes is that those are improv. Oh All yeah, those they are. Yeah. are improv. Yeah, he just goes and they're just unedited funny because, because, because you can yeah. hear them laugh in the background. Yeah. It's even even like he like hear him mess up with like the little bits. He's like he's like we have like little chickens, little pizza, little fried eggs, and like <laughs> and then you just hear him actually laugh. And at the end, he's like, "Eat some fucking shit, you stupid!" And, and like he just he's like, "I can't believe it." <laughs> Yeah, just watch the show. Like it. Do yourself a favor, take a day off, watch both seasons, and increase the quality of your life. I even got my dad on it. Like I got my dad on it too. Yeah, <laughs> he loves it. <clears throat> it's the best. It's the greatest show. Probably, and like it's kind of. It's also, and I guess maybe to end it off on this, Rick and like it. Rick and Morty is a great show. There's nothing wrong with it. It's perfect. Like literally, like I, I can't think of anything to improve the show. But I, I always, I somehow get a bittersweet feeling when I talk about it because it just reminds me of like as much as I lo- like respect and love like Family Guy, South Park, and Simpsons. Like there have been a lot, been around for like almost too long. South Park could still kind of pull it. Cause That's it's only because they, they keep everything much. relevant. They keep yeah. everything very relevant, and the humor changes over time, yeah. which is awesome. For better or for worse. Yeah, like, but like, I feel like it's been improving more. Yeah, this season is their best in a while. Yeah, so it, far. It, I agree. And um, oh, excuse me. Um, I kind of wish like Simpsons and Family Guy would end. Like, 
Just because I, I want like yeah, new just, original stuff. Yeah, I, I can see that. Just like stick a fork in it, you're done. Yeah, it's, yeah. Like, it's you know, it's Family Guy now is just the same formula. It's like, hey, remember that time? Some reference to something that didn't happen. We do that, yeah. and or that's saying, that's worse which, than I mean, like insert like, pop culture '80s pop culture reference here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it was awesome. And like, <laughs> it's the thing though. It's like, and I and like I love Seth Mac. I like. I mean, I don't agree. Like, I just like I think I love Seth MacFarlane humor wise. Like, I think the guy's a you know a comedic genius. I think he's just like insanely talented. Yeah, he's insanely yeah. talented, and you know even like he's got he's got and he's got great timing like when he ho- he hosted three comedy central roasts and his timing was awesome and the oscars yeah. and the oscars and i thought he was funny and um yeah. i just want him like i would like to see him do a- another show it's like not and not like an american dad cleveland show like all right like he, it, i don't you know, I feel I, like he made those two shows just be like i bet i can make some money off of this i'm not even going to try watch and then like people are going to watch it and... well he certainly didn't try with the cleveland show that's for sure but no. american dad american after the first dad is good two or three seasons has gotten really good yeah i think that's I gone know. up I, while I, family I never, guy's gone a little down i'm gonna agree to disagree on american dad i could never get into it i don't know why there's just... there's a few seasons that are really funny of american yeah. dad that, it, it took for, a while for me though. it has moments but like too few and far between for me to sit down and say, oh, I feel like watching American Dad right yeah. now. The thing with, uh, I don't think Rick and Morty will fall into that trap because, you know, most Adult Swim shows don't really last too long. And it's not because, like, they just ax them. It's just because they're able to get done what they want to get done, that they're yeah. not, like, throwing in filler and yeah. wasting time. Like, I mean, Rick and Morty is one of probably maybe two three half hour episode series that adult swim has um, but original it's only original. one it's it, oh yeah metal, original. okay metalocalypse was the only other show that ever metalocalypse started at 15 minutes season three was a half hour right. but season three like wasn't good <laughs> but like you think about it, like children's hospitals their longest running show right now i think they just they're starting their seventh right. season or whatever but all those episodes are 15 minutes long but they able to get <clears throat> done what they want to get done like and i think that allowing that freedom for rick and morty it's like that and it doesn't it takes like a year and a half or two years for new episodes to come out that they'll be able they can just do what they want to do and yeah. then at one point they'll be like yeah well i guess we did it all right that, that and like yeah, they, they let the show die with dignity yeah yeah whereas that and like connor said with um dan Harmon tends to walk away from things so <laughs> Like Connor said with uh, Family Guy and Simpsons, like um, I mean, I personally I was never a huge fan of The Simpsons. Mm-hmm. Like uh, there was nothing wrong with it. I just I yeah. never got into it. I was more I, of a Family I Guy love myself. Old Simpsons, <clears throat> like it's so I love, I like like the first ten seasons of The Simpsons is like, fantastic. Is one of the is like the best first is the best like ten like if you look at shows that have ten seasons, like which is not a lot. Simpsons <laughs> is probably the best. Yeah, I like mean, Friends has ten seasons. I'm not knocking it or anything. It's just my personal. Um, opinion yeah but um like i mean right now i was one of the biggest fans of family guy that i i personally know like a while ago i remember and in now grade, i haven't were... watched the past three seasons i wanted I to just watched like in a while i want to pull the plug just be like look you were great just let yourself yeah. be great <laughs> and, <laughs> and keep if it that way seth mcfarlane keeps doing movies i want him to stop just making it live action family guy basically Mm-mm. and turning them into long family guy episodes yeah I mean, Ted worked out fine. Ted, I liked both. Tests. I, I didn't see the second one, but Ted, I went in, I was like, this is Ted, just gonna Ted be Family really Guy. Good. But then I was like, oh, all right, this is actually really funny. Yeah. Didn't see Ted two, not for any particular reason, just haven't gotten around to it. Mm-hmm. But a million ways to die in the West was fucking terrible, and it was like that's what I heard. I never got around to it. It but. was f- terrible. It yeah. was like it was basically one long shitty episode of Family Guy that they go back in time. That, that was basically it, and it was worse than the worst episode of Family Guy. Ever. Yeah, because I my friend from work said he watched it and he said he hated it, and me and him like we're just like on different wavelengths as far mm-hmm. as like what we like. Like he likes skateboarding and he's yeah. not like so into like everything we would talk about on the show basically, but um, but he's open to it. Uh, <clears throat> but he told me like it was a Wild Wild West, but they're making like current pop culture references like left yeah. and right and it, he just couldn't like get into it and to me i was like wow that sounds exactly like an episode of family guy or an episode or anything it Seth was except it 
was poorly done. It the, the jokes were not well executed or anything. Like really, but to see like that sounds more like Family Guy. Whereas Ted was kind of like I could see a hint of Family. Like, not a hint, but like I could see. Oh, this is definitely this like is Family Seth Guy. Seth MacFarlane's work. Yeah, but it's <laughs> That's it, how I yeah, felt. It's, you're right. It's like when you watch a Mel Brooks movie. It's Mel Brooks's work, but. It's still. But it's a different project. It's a different project, and there's there's more. But you creativity. can feel, yeah, you yeah. can feel his presence there. <clears throat> it's like or like when like like when a Foo Fighters come out like a new album, it's like oh this is Foo Fighters, but like there's a little more creativity behind it. Like mm-hmm. that's not how a million ways to die in the West was. Okay, <laughs> I think it was just a scrapped Family Guy idea. He's like oh I can get a huge ass budget for this. Okay, I personally do not recommend watching it, and it sucked because it's a good cast and it just like. She I still love Ted. Ted is so funny. Ted was great. Did you watch Ted 2, Connor? I did not see Ted 2. <clears throat> Ted 2 was great. Because uh, one one recurring joke throughout the whole movie that made me so happy was uh, Amanda Seyfried, mm. the girl, uh, obviously the new love interest. Um, she doesn't understand pop culture references, mm. which obviously anyone who knows Seth MacFarlane's that's work, all that's it all is. he does. <laughs> yeah. So Ted and Mark Wahlberg's character are constantly making references to each other yeah and she's just like i don't get it and then they both go and it's just like a running <laughs> gag throughout the whole movie and it's it's amazing yeah yeah i, I feel like um rick and morty's not going to take that that route um yeah i feel like like you said with a lot of adult swim shows that weren't that shitty they like <clears throat> they went up to their their high point and then they they left, uh, it, they on left that, it there which is which, good which, personally, as much as I love Rick and Morty, I would rather see it die early yep. in, in a blaze of glory than let it become what Family Guy is right now. Yeah, because, like I mentioned before, Dan Harmon has walked away from stuff, but he walks away from it when he knows it can't get any better. Like, he kn- he'll, he'll, he knows, all right, this is the peak. This It has to stop here. Otherwise, yeah. it's just it's going to get You're run gonna down. You're going to burn it if you don't take like, it. I wouldn't want now. Rick and Morty to go past <laughs> ten seasons. Like I, I don't think I want it to go anywhere near ten seasons. I, I personally. personally don't think it will. I could see like five or six, but you know, like it coming out, every, taking a year and a half or two years is going to benefit it. I think. Yeah, yeah. The, the spacing it out like that, as much yeah. as we hate it because we want to see more, it's gonna. It's gonna I think do for the writers, well it the, definitely benefits them. Yeah, but yeah, I, I, I don't think it's going to become the next. Simps- follow the footsteps of the Simpsons or Family Guy or anything like that. Yeah. And I'm 1 billion percent okay with that because right yeah. now it's shitting on them and because like better I than think- some of their best like the Simpsons best and Family Guy's best seasons. Yeah, cuz like Connor said before, I can't think of anything to even critique on Rick and Morty. Yeah, it's like for me it's all so funny. It's all perfect. I can't think of a way to yeah. increase and then, it in any way. Sometimes when it hits you in the feels, it's just like fuck. Like the the end the season finale of season two was like Yeah, like, you kinda tore like, me Whoa. apart. Yeah. <laughs> like like oh my god. Like Like I I a couple people like I know like when IGN reviewed season two, they gave it like they're like this like this is a great show. They said the only critique they had was like it kind of retreads season one. But like I thought they did that in a great way, though. Yeah, yeah, they it's did. It's kind of, but like, it's I, it's I kind of felt the same way about season two of Rick and Morty that I felt the same way about Evil Dead Two. It's like it's kind of the same thing, but it's better. And yeah, I'll, it's I'll just like a better it. version of it. Yeah, it's like they took what they knew and they're like, all right, like what did we do? Yeah, and they built on it. Yeah, because like one of the things that I liked was the way they set it up was the uh, the first season finale. They had the house party episode that I've re- referred to already. Where you meet all these crazy characters that Rick mm-hmm. knows, and then like every other episode in season two, you meet one of those characters, and they get like sort of opened up a bit, yeah, in some way, shape, or form. And I like that they went back to all those because those characters were so freaking weird <laughs> and crazy were. that you'd think like there's no way that they could go back to this person yeah. because they don't make any sense. It was so funny in that episode too was when uh, Morty opens up the door and he thinks it's two people having sex in his parents' bed. And it's just and it's, this it, giant blob monster. Yeah, he's like, oh, sorry, I'm just like really sick. I'm feeling really <laughs> sick right now. I have to lay down. <laughs> and then he just barfs and melts the entire like <clears throat> floor of the house. One subtle joke that was in uh, the background of that episode that, um, that took me a while to pick up on it was uh, I don't know if What's the girl that bird person was gonna marry? 
Tammy. Or, Tammy. Yeah. I don't know if Tammy said it, but she was in the shot when it was said. And uh, it, a girl going, yeah, I mean, I haven't done Bukaki, but I think I would try it out. Yeah. But I don't remember <laughs> yeah, it was her or not, but it, the camera yeah, was well, like she, the, I on think it was her. the girl she was talking to. But yeah, yeah there was, <laughs> I remember that. That was great. <laughs> but, I've never done Bukaki, but I think I'm open to it. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Morty. I don't know what humans eat. I know what this human eats. Bird dick. <laughs> Tammy, do not be gross. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's about all I got for this. Yeah. Yeah. I. That's a. I mean, there's only a lot so- of fangirling from me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just, it's just you can only talk so much. It's weird. Like, you can only talk now, so much we're good about it something. So much up that like now all we want to do is watch it. Yeah. And we're gonna start. And we are gonna watch yeah, it right we're after. Definitely this. watching an episode after this. After and I recommend episode. this show to anybody. Like I'm disappointed. I waited so long to watch it, but I'm happy I did because I got to watch it all like straight through yeah i remember and i can't recommend the show enough yeah i remember when my friend uh, my friend tom showed me this show he was like it's one of those weird adult swim shows and i was like and he was like no 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 no. it's it but it's good one of the good weird ones <laughs> no, yeah. see, i like those weird adult swim shows i enjoy I the hell out of them hate i like some of adult them. swim programming for the majority of it no I, I liked it a lot when i was in high school <laughs> yeah but like there it was like a, a switch flipped at one point and i was like i watched metalocalypse and i was like i i don't even the first two I, seasons of metalocalypse are fucking hysterical yes it, even even those though like i watched them again and i'm like it, they're kind of funny but they're not like see i think like the only thing that, the only thing that i really cling to is robot chicken for me oh, yeah. i love yeah. robot chicken definitely a classic i love robot chicken too but <laughs> like everything else like aqua teen hunger force i go back and try and watch it and oh i like, fucking love aqua teen. i love aqua teen too i i have to disagree with you guys i think that's a show, i think that's a show that went on for too long too well didn't they like reboot it like five times but that well, was they, that they, was like, the joke that yeah that was yeah. the joke yeah yeah, yeah. But I don't know. I I went back and tried to watch it again because uh-huh. I was like, because like I said in high school I thought it was hysterical and I was watching it and I was like, Carl's pretty funny and then the rest of it I'm just kind of like, what the fuck is happening, dude? I th- and I, I understand that that's yeah. the joke is what the fuck is happening is like the whole basis of it, but I don't know. I think it's like a hodgepodge of. I love like I love dude. Like, I like remember that show, <laughs> uh, uh, Xavier Renegade Angel. Was like the most retarded show ever. No. Oh know. my god. <laughs> Have you ever watched? Um... I can't even explain what it's about because it's really not about anything. Like, it's just like this CGI show, but the CGI is like bad, really bad, <laughs> and like it's, it's just this angel that walks around and like he just gets shit on. Like, I can never explain. It. I haven't seen the show in a cu- couple years, but like he has like a snake for an arm and like. He's just this dumb looking thing. And like, Sounds like an adult swim. But it's yeah. just, it, I thought it was so funny. And then a Tim and Eric awesome show is, I still crack up at that show. You know, and, I, I watched like one or two episodes and that was another one. I just, I don't know. I wasn't clicking with. For me, it's really, really hit or miss. I, I did, did like, um, Dr. Steve Brule. Uh, Steve Brule. Steve Brule. Brule. Uh, the John C. Riley character. Yeah. I like that. Um, fuck. I just thought of. Oh, Mike Tyson's mystery stories. That, oh, I never got around to watching that. It's but really that funny. That actually looks really that good. It's really, really funny. I really want to start. I think uh, Adult Swim has gotten better. The over to, like the it, funniest part of that show is I don't think Mike Tyson's in on the joke. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. A lot of people said that. Like, we don't know if he get like like if he understands if he understands. We're yeah. making fun of him. And like, imagine <laughs> if the writers like like are afraid that he finds out one day. Like, Just get their ears bitten off. Yeah. <laughs> but Tim and Eric's bedtime stories. That's better than their original show. I, I think. think it's better too. And do you, do you ever see the Heart She Holler? No. Oh my God, that show is. I see, but I again, I, I like the Adult Swim programming. Yeah. The only other Adult Swim show that I do like, other than Robot Chicken, Aqua Teen, and uh, Mike Tyson, obviously Rick and Morty, is um, Children's Hospital. See, that's another show. I, I I like that show. But I never really got into that show. I never watched it because I saw like commercials and stuff, mm-hmm. and I was just like. It just look weird. It's <laughs> really funny, and the amount of like people that are like popular, like funny ass people that are on that show is great. Really? Like fucking Henry Winkler's in every episode, <laughs> and like any like you can pick out like most of the cast of Wet Hot American Summer, the movie and the show is in it, the exception of obviously like Bradley Cooper, um, <laughs> like a lot of Parks and Rec characters, like 
basically a lot of current comedy actors. Yeah, a lot of current comedy actors and like people from like the state, Reno nine one one, like all shit like that, all in one. And it's so funny. And the best part about it, it's only fifteen minutes long. Mm. So like it doesn't spoil itself by dragging on. Yeah. But it's it's really funny. I recommend that There's too. But. The episodes I've seen, the 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 location a lot reminds me a lot of Scrubs. Like, do they? Well, use, yeah, it, it, they they use they, the same hospital. Yeah. Okay. I see. Yeah. Uh, and it's it's making fun of like Scrubs, Grey's Anatomy, shit like that. Yeah. Because the hospital one dramas. Yeah, because the one character uh, played by Rob Corddry, it's uh, Blake Downs. He is a clown. And <laughs> he doesn't do surgery or anything. He tries to heal all of his patients, like even the ones with cancer and stuff, by trying to make them laugh. <laughs> and that's the only way he operates it, or more or less but yeah it's i think it's a great show i think that currently though rick and morty is the best adult swim show it's i think it is the best adult swim program ever like even in like i would honestly go as far to say that is the current best animated show yeah <laughs> yeah because like the i would go that then archer probably archer was hit or miss for me i liked it mm-hmm. but like I find myself a lot of I found myself during a lot of Archer episodes waiting for the funny. Yeah. And then the funny came and it was good, but I have, like I said I found myself waiting a lot. Mm-hmm. But there were a lot of like a lot of the run-on gags yeah. in that show were like great. Actually, I think I like Bob's Burgers more than Archer. So it'd be like Rick and Morty, Bob's Burgers and Archer. Um for me it's Rick and Morty and still South Park. Even though like we complain about shows going on for too long, that's a show that keeps it relevant. I will give yeah. them credit that this season is their best in like yeah. four or five, and they are able to like keep up with everything and are very relevant and stuff. But sometimes they just try to get like shove their opinions down your throat like a giant dick, and yeah. uh, are very pretentious. But like when they knit, when they get the right blend of comedy and topical commentary yeah. it's it's good that's the reason why but that's the thing I, that's the reason why i like south park too is like because i don't always agree with what they say but i'm like you know what? i'm glad they're saying i'm glad they're not like, yeah, i don't agree with it but i'm glad they're saying yeah it. <laughs> I'm, I'm like i'm glad someone has the balls to have an opinion you know <laughs> yeah they got like, balls. <laughs> that's the thing like they're like they're like the the best story was uh was when uh, Sean Penn called them up because they were pissed off about team america because mm-hmm. he was pissed off about team america he's like no if you release this movie george bush will win and they're like, well, what if we like George Bush? Yeah. Like, I'm not going to tell you if we do or not, but what if we do like him? Like, go, yeah. f- like you know, sc- like go screw off. Like, mm-hmm. or like when uh, Scientology did a huge investigation into them after the Tom Cruise episode, yeah. and they just, they're like, all right, you can look through ever what you ask us, we'll tell you whatever. You're not going to find anything because we're not pieces of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Or, like, when they went to the Oscars one year wearing the Jennifer Lopez yeah. dresses oh. and they were tripping on ass yeah, in the I entire time. But the, best, the best part was uh, when someone would ever ask them, like, what's up with the dresses? They didn't answer. Like, yeah. It's just such a great night. Yeah. Completely. But, like, if you see a video of, like, the interview that they're in, they look like they're tripping hard. Yeah, they're yeah. Like, looking around. They're just they? like, what the hell? <laughs> and, like, and they said, like, when they were coming down from the acid trip, they were like, they were like, they looked at each other and they're like in dresses in the middle of the Oscars and they're like, holy shit. Like, <laughs> what the fuck did we do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so after going on to different shows, I think uh, yeah. it's about time to call it on this. Yeah. I mean, uh, I guess before, just real quick before we get off, favorite episode of Rick and Morty? Um, I think oh, it's tough. I think I like the Parasite one the best. I mean, I like, at, you can't, there's no bad episodes, but, like, I think that one might take it, or Tiny Wreck. Yeah. I For me, I think it's the Parasite. I think the Parasites win for me. Yeah. Definitely. I Either thought that, that episode was brilliant. The season two premiere, um, the one where they break time. Oh, yeah, yeah, That yeah. one was really good, like too, that. with uh, Key and Peele. Yeah, <laughs> that one is really good. Uh, uh, Chris, <laughs> you killed my gun! <laughs> uh, <laughs> gross and weird. <laughs> <laughs> um... I still, I think my favorite episode, just for the sole purpose of of Jerry, of like the subplot being so good, was uh, Close Encounters of the Rick Kind. 
when like it's all like the council mm. of ricks oh, that just is a good because one. of rick and the one uh, just because of uh stupid jerry rick. and the, the stupid rick and the stupid rick <laughs> You know and, he eats his own shit, right? Yeah, it's just like that running <laughs> joke, and also all the more all the naked Mortys in constant pain, yeah. and just the fact oh, that like oh, every Rick has oh. a Morty. He goes, see, like this is like my genius waves, and this is your Morty, Morty wave. waves. Yeah, <laughs> like like it's an episode you have to kind of know the show to understand the humor, but like yeah. when you do know the show and you watch the episode, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, just pick it off from wherever. Just I just watch it. You can you watch know, any back episode, to front, really. but you can pick it up anywhere. Like if it's on, it's still on repeats and stuff. Fucking watch it. I can't recommend the show enough. It's great. Like ten out of ten. Definitely a ten out of ten. Yep. All right, so that's about it. Uh, thanks again for Mike Sands coming on. Anytime. Uh, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, download on iTunes. Yada yada yada. Call us on Twitter. Send out your carrier pigeons. Yeah, send out carrier pigeons. Yeah, follow us on Twitter at Rick Pack Mick. I'm at less than Connor. At Weenie Beard. Do it. Um, Connor might touch your butthole, and it'll, but you'll like it. He's pretty yeah. good at milking from I what might I hear. Tongue punch your fart box. And you can fart in his face, and he'll just sniff it. Sorry. Right. Uh, tongue shovel your poop hole. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks for listening, guys. See you later. All Have right. a good one. Wow, 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 wow,